I had an argument with him once. Really? Yeah, I called him a grunge footnote. <laughs> he doesn't like being re sort of resigned to the past. He was, I was, I'm friends with Courtney Love and I was staying with her and he was a little bit right. weird oh. to me. Is that he was a kind of offish and I just mm. thought, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was drunk. And I caught him I'm on a piano, <laughs> God damn it! I'm standing on a piano. You're a grunge footnote. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. But, um... He's very he's a very beautiful, talented man. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're at the Opera House for goodness sake. He's never played at the Opera House. Have you ever played at an Opera House before at a I've, house of opera? I've uh, I only play in Opera Houses. I love Australia though. I love I would love to have spent a month here. I've got a lot of Australian friends. And you go, Wow, it's great in Australia and then you go out to London and go, What am I doing? Getting arrested for jumping on pianos. It's very uh, crowded in London and dirty. When you come back from Australia you realise how dirty London is. Really? It's like a skip. And um, people do ask if I was born on Christmas Day. Is that a thing that people who are born on Christmas get called Noel? Yeah, because it's French for Christmas, isn't yeah. it? And I say, no, that was Jesus. Although there uh, are similarities. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crossover. <laughs> Wasn't one of your first um, <laughs> gigs on a crucifix? Yeah, that's true, actually. My first gig, I played Jesus. Maybe I am Jesus. No, don't say that. That's really weird. <laughs> that is not the I'm pool not, quote. That I is... am not Jesus. Can I just say for the record? <laughs> I'm Judas. Oh, funny enough, I'm friends with Tame Impala. Do you know them? Yeah, of course. I love those boys. They're good boys. They're like a proper 60s band. They've yeah. got that authentic psychedelic sound. And they're so young, but they're, they're like it's jamming is so staggering good. staggering how young they are. Me and my best friend Nigel directs luxury comedy and animates it. We were sort of hanging out backstage with them somewhere in London when they did a gig and he's got like a a little boy he's like seven or something yeah. and he turned to me and said they're closer to these boys called Spike they're closer to Spike's age than our age <laughs> and I went yeah I've never felt more like a paedophile <laughs> backstage at their gig no well, thank you man That's thank so you good. do you want to sing a song you want to play a song <laughs> <laughs> no, you so, should play it. All, all I know, the only song I know, which I've been playing repeatedly, is And I was walking in Memphis Walking with my two feet on Remember that song? Walking in Memphis by Mark Cohn Great song No, but it sounded put like Bruce Springsteen blue suede shoes. Oh yeah, I do know that it's the only song What I'm is playing. it put on my blue suede shoes? And I boarded the plane Woke In his blue suede shoes? Yeah He boarded the plane? Yeah, he was heading to Memphis Right Cause he's walking in Memphis. It's a bit of a cliche, isn't it? Everyone will be wearing blue suede shoes when you get there. He wants well, you'd have to take them off now. <laughs> really? You have to get on the plane. It's illegal. You have to get on the aeroplane. Oh, oh yeah. Because of the shoe bombers. Yeah. You're take not going to... Take off my blue suede shoes uh. so I could board the plane. <laughs> it's the new it's the... I don't imagine that any shoe bombers ever wore blue suede shoes. See, Rockabilly shoe it. bombers. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Rockabilly yeah. shoe bombers Rockabilly is the new, yeah. the new terrorism.